Okay. Let's go. Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Miller from Arise MD, where we are in the business of helping people win the game of aging. And I'm joined today by one of my favorite compounding pharmacists, Omar of Welltopia Pharmacy. Omar, thanks for taking a few minutes in your busy day to jump in with us. Uh, thanks for your time, Dr. Miller. Really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, today, you know, we're just through the new year, and I know a lot of people are highly motivated to optimize probably too many things, right? People are making their New Year's resolutions, and one of the things that comes up, especially for the middle-aged male, is low T, low testosterone, and a lot of guys will do the drive-by stop at the primary care doctor to get androgel. And what I've heard as a theme in my practice over the past couple of weeks is that uh, more guys going on androgel. And you and I have talked quite a bit about this topic. And I wanted to grab you because I don't use androgel. You compounded a topical testosterone cream that's 100 milligrams per ml and in this nifty little pump. And it costs me about 30 bucks a month. So I want Omar's answer to androgel today. And I want you to touch on things like the value, all right? Um, the creativity that compounding might allow people um, to appreciate and enjoy, like adding progesterone or other things to a compounded formula. And then the other thing would be um, the source. I think sometimes people assume because androgel is from a big pharma that it's much more regulated and therefore much more consistent and probably of a higher standard. So Omar's answer to Androgel, talk to us a little bit about what makes this, which you made for me special, and uh, why more people should consider it. Sure. So Androgel is FDA approved for hypogonadism and for, uh, to help raise the T levels. But Androgel has several challenges. One of them is it's alcohol-based, and alcohol uh, can be irritant and evaporates uh, fast. And when this happens, uh, crystallization of the testosterone can occur, which affects absorption of the testosterone. No consistency that we see over time. It mm. still works, but we want something better. Uh, the base that we are using in our practice is called atravis. Uh, atravis coming from Spanish phrase, atravis de la piel, which means uh, roughly in English, through the skin. And the way it was designed is to be hydrogel, doesn't have alcohol, so it doesn't cause irritation problems. And it has three permeation enhancers that make the levels go up quickly of continuous use of the uh, base to compound testosterone. Now, this is the first base designed specifically for male hormones. And by that, we mean we can add also an estrazole. We also can add progesterone. So we can kind of change the formula accordingly because we are compounding and we have FDA regulations as well. If we comply with them, we have kind of flexibility to uh, change the, uh, the compound. And that, that's, now, that's attractive to me as a clinician because a lot of guys are going to need an estrazole to block estrogen. And it makes it so simple if you just compound it all into one cream. Exactly. And the thing is that it's also cost effective because when you pay for Androgel at least $200 or $400, while I can make a pump that costs you from $50 to $100 for three months supply or less, that's kind of a uh, saving that we're looking for. And at the same time, I'm looking for increasing the levels safe and fast. So we have like a case, a scientific case study that was published for a patient who uh, used uh, Atravis as a base for 5%, 50 milligram a day of testosterone. Uh, they did a base level and after six months, and it was actually based on the score, the ADAM score, ADAM, which is the androgen deficiency for aging males score. Patient answered seven of 10 questions, yes, which confirmed that the patient had hypogonadism, low libido. After six months, a uh, patient answered no to all of the questions. The Adam score was zero. The patient reported that he has much higher libido and he has no problems with hypogonadism as per the doctor. And they could not believe uh, only six months of treatment have helped the levels 
that high and also at the same time safe it does not increase the hematocrit uh, doesn't affect the estradiol so it's kind of we're looking for good results and safe results as well why do you think that the hydrogel uh, delivery mechanism would raise the levels higher faster and maybe more effectively than the alcohol-based androgel it's because of the uh, uh, enhancers that are in the hydrogel that helps it permeates through the skin. One of the enhancers is a patented one. And so as I told you, it's kind of designed specifically for male hormones, not for female hormones, because we need to raise the levels fast over a shorter period of time. And, and, and by that, according to the studies we have seen in vitro studies and case studies of patients who have used it, it has been in the market for, I think, uh, two years now. And so the results that we have seen are saying that doctors who, you, who use it with their patients report back and let us know that we haven't seen this increase in the testosterone levels in that short period of time. And at the same time, we do not need to use very high doses of, of 150 and 200 milligram many times only 40 or 50 milligram a day would be enough. Okay, so there, there's the value proposition. What about the source? How do you know that these ingredients are consistent of the highest quality and safe? For hormone replacement therapy, we just deal with PCCA, Pharmacy Compounding Centers of America, which are like the apple in the world of compounding, sourcing of the ingredients, uh, consultations, research, we just deal with this company because we, we trust them. They do 20 plus extra tests on every batch that walks through their doors. Uh, we trust the source. They are FDA kind of inspected. And uh, we, you, we, we compound in an USP 800 compliant lab. So we have our own regulations that we kind of follow religiously because we believe of two things, uh, safety and quality. Well, I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I really actually like the pump. It may sound silly to some people listening to this, but having made some skincare and experimented with other pumps, your pump is really consistent and that matters, right? For sure. We've tested several pumps and we have, we have like kind of have a selection of ones to use. Uh, we have to make sure that if you're getting 0.5 ml, it's actually 0.5 ml every single time. So yeah. consistency of the delivery system is very important. Uh, so yeah, this pump is also exclusive to the PCCA. We just get it from them. And it's kind of, uh, if I tell you just one pump a day, this means you're going to get uh, the, the, the 0.5 ml for instance, or 0.25 ml, whatever is the pump is primed to. And we prime each uh, product. So you, get, you don't need to push until the cream comes out. We already did it for you to make sure that from the first dose, it's an accurate dose. Yeah, and I've worked with other compounding pharmacies that do not do that. So it's a higher value. You get more bang for your dollar, which may be the least important discussion point here. But it, over time, it matters. Many men who go on testosterone are going to be on it for years. It allows you to, be, to simplify a multi-prescription uh, uh, cream you know, into, into one product. Um, and you are regulated by PCCA, and so you, you know that these bioidentical horm hormones are, are safe and are what they, they claim to be. We're actually, we work with the PCCA, but we are regulated by the FDA. Okay. As a, compound, as a compounding pharmacy, we don't manufacture, but I make one compound for one patient. For me, it's as personal as this. So I have to put your name on the compound that I make for you. So we pay extra attention to that. And that's how pharmacies have started. That's how the, there was no pharmaceutical companies before. It was just all compounded. So it's kind of a privilege that there are pharmacies that are still compounding now. And uh, it's kind of fascinating the kind of things we can do. Yeah, and I'm a bit of a Renaissance guy. So I like a little bit of that throwback to being more black bag, hands-on, one person at a time. I appreciate that about you. Um, you mentioned to me that getting this is going to be stable for up to six months. Yeah, it has. Uh, That's amazing. To me. Yeah, yeah, it's very important because it saves money when you get more uh, expiration date. So most of our formulas, we extend their expiration date. It has been tested safe, effective, 100% for one month, two months, three months, up to six months. 
and that way also we can uh, it's a win-win-win situation like i can do uh, less prescriptions a day for one pay this prescriptions per month for a patient and at the same time it's cheaper if you get two or three months supplies cheaper for you yeah and you what, what's give us an idea of what three months might cost a guy it would cost hundred dollars or less for the according to the dose that you get and the average copay for an androgel prescription is is over a hundred dollars yeah, it's, it comes from 150 uh, to 100 up to $400 if they have you pay the full price of it. Well, there you have it. That's Omar's answer to Androgel. And I can't find a reason not to, A, get people to convert from Androgel over, and B, if they're thinking about testosterone replacement and they, haven't, they don't want to do injections and they're not a candidate for Clomid um, oral therapy, then... I would reach for a compounded version of the cream first, uh, assuming you're working closely with a good integrative doctor. Do you, as a pharmacist, do you have any concerns about the transition from somebody using an alcohol-based form like Androgel to a hydrogel formulation? Should they expect to go down on the dosing a little bit? Well, if the year, actually the Androgel comes in 1.1% to 1.62%, we, it can start from 2%. It wouldn't be a problem. Uh, the levels go up. They have to be monitored for sure, but we can start from 2%. It would be safe to do that. It wouldn't be a problem. We can start from 0.5%. The levels are going to go up faster, so we can go below a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I can start from 0.5%, and it's going to be even better than 1% from the Andrew gel. So, yeah, that, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, so I, I'm going to assume that we're going to, if we're converting somebody over, we're probably going to drop down on their dose a bit. Yeah, the question is going to be how much you have them take from the androgel, one or two pumps or three pumps, and then we can go a little bit low and then see the levels and go from there. Sounds great. Omar, thanks for taking a few minutes to jump in here um, for a clinic moment. Uh, I know the listeners will really appreciate it. And when I get you back next, we're going to talk about some of the fun we're having with compounding skincare to make it clean, safe, highly effective, and of a high value for people. Great. Thanks for the opportunity, Dr. Adam. I appreciate right. your time and your listeners. Bye-bye.